Hello, Katya. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, but I'm exhausted. Oh, why? I'm working. I'm still working. For tomorrow, I have a meeting in the school with the father. Mm, with the parents? Yes, the parents. Okay. Okay. So, but I'm going to stay here in the class, but only for yes for pay attention and and to know the indication okay okay i understand no problem thank you for joining us katya i am good hello sandra how are you hello teacher how are you today yesterday um i was worst than now i am better than yesterday thanks god Hey, that's great. So you feel better today? Um, a little bit, a, a little bit uh, better because I have to go to the banks because today is 15, you know, uh -huh. and we have to pay the payrolls. Uh, yes, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I have to go to receive the air conditioner again. What happened with the air conditioner? Well, it is very bad for me because I have the flu. Oh, uh, okay. And it is dangerous uh, that it converts in another in another disease, you know, but in the name of Jesus, no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you taking any, any medicine, Sandra? Yes, I am taking medicine. But the, these flus are very strong in these days, you know. So we have to to be so careful. Okay. Always. Do you never know how it can develop into something a little bit stronger or worse? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, great to see Evelyn and Carlos as well. Um, Today we're going to go ahead and continue. The idea is we're going to finish up um, the different types of questions that we're going to be looking at in the reading section. So let's review a little bit from yesterday, and then we continue on with today. So yesterday, we were very clear with vocabulary questions and reference questions. Remember, vocabulary questions are kind of like, what does this word mean? This word is closest in meaning to, and these types of things. This is one type. The other type of vocabulary questions are the ones that are highlighted. And then you have to choose a synonym of that word, right? And the other one is, of course, where they tell you in line 16 and line 15, this word refers to, and then they say which one, okay? That's the idea for that. That's the reference ones. So remember in reference, many times you're going to see it highlighted and then you're going to see, for example, a pronoun, they, them, uh, we, uh, us, those and they're going to ask you what do they refer to that's simple what is the technique for the reference questions reference questions are very easy to save time read the sentence before read that sentence and then choose for this you don't have to understand the context you only need to know what is the pronoun about in the case of vocabulary remember the vocabulary is more about having vocabulary you have to have synonyms and antonyms but if you don't Try to take the original word and use that word to help you expand the concepts of what could be the ideas. And finally, yesterday we also saw sentence simplification questions. Remember, sentence simplification questions were similar to what I am showing you right now, is this sentence is closest in meaning to, and that's the idea. This sentence, another way to say the sentence is, that's what they're asking you. Those are the three main types that we saw yesterday. Before we continue with today, do you have any questions about those three topics? Hmm, no, I suppose it is clear. So. It's clear. Okay, great. So <laughs> here we have the fourth type of question. So we had vocabulary, reference, sentence simplification, and today is the final one, which is insert text. Okay, so insert text, 
Let's watch a small video and then we'll get to it. Let's go on with the last type of questions for this course. The insert text questions. Insert text questions are designed to show that you understand the logical order of ideas in a reading passage. In the reading section, every reading passage has one insert text question. But instead of choosing from a list of four choices, like with most reading questions, you will choose on one of the four black squares to insert the text into the paragraph. Look at the four squares that indicates where the following sentence can be added to the passage. Here's a sample insert text question. Okay. So let me explain it a little bit so that it's clear. You're going to have the sentence, roof poles are made from wooden beams that are tied at the lower end to lattice and are secured to a central roof ring. Your job is to identify the best location for that sentence. Is it in A, B, C, or D? Where is the best place to place this sentence? Here is obligation read all the text there is no way to do this faster for this type of questions you must read all of the text it's not like the other ones where reference or the other vocabulary here you don't know where to put if you don't understand the entire concept so let's begin reading sandra i'm Ooh. sorry don't worry sandra it's okay Sandra, can you please read the paragraph? Okay. <clears throat> For more than 2,000 years, nomads of Central Asia and the Far East have lived in portable circular dwellings called yards. A. These structures are highly durable and are use resources very efficiently. B. They typically have a low profile and circular shape. C. This allows the wind to slip around and over them so they can withstand very high winds. The basic shape is formed from wooden poles crisscrossed to form a circular lattice frame in which a wooden door is set. D. D. The outside covering is made of fabric that is supplemented with animal skins during cold weather. Roof poles are made from wooden beams that are tied at the lower end to the lattice and are secure, secure to a central roof ring. The same is to be added. Thank you very much, Sandra. Okay. That's okay. great. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So here, okay. if we're reading this text, which part of the text starts to describe the construction? Which part of the text starts to describe how the construction is made because that's what we're talking about roof poles are made from okay if we look in letter a no only description right letter b mm, the shape the design letter c mm, a little bit of information but we're starting to get the functionality the functionality in letter c and letter d oh here would be a good place. Why? Because the sentence before is starts to describe it is formed from wooden poles, crisscrossed, mm -hmm. and then the next sentence is continuing the description of how it's built, made of fabric that is supplemented. And because the sentence is describing how it's built, the best place to locate this question or this sentence is letter D. Does that make sense on how to identify it? Now, you don't have to understand all of the words, but yeah. if you understand the concept, oh, it's talking about wood, it's talking about the end, it's talking about, oh, it's, so I don't understand all, the, all of the words, but I yeah. understand they are talking about construction. So then in the paragraph, where do they talk about construction? And then that's where I locate it. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. 
So don't worry. Yeah. We're going to practice a little bit of these. Oh, sorry. Did somebody have a question? A tip to improve your reading. I'm sorry. Did I, I heard a noise, but did someone have a question? No. No. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So here are some tips to help you with it. Okay. Let's take a look one more time. Again. Let's take a look. It's to really know your pronouns and to practice matching them to the words they refer to in a text. Here are a few of the most common pronouns that you will see when you read. This, these, that, those, they, them, him, her, he, she, it, which. So, similar to what I explained, but not just with the pronouns. The best way is, mm -hmm, is what is the idea? What are they trying to describe? What is the main topic? And that's going to be the easiest way to find out where to put it in. Mm -hmm. Is the, the, the last the last question is a is a insert text. I think is the is the difficult is the difficult uh, figure out that that questions instead of the instead of the reference questions. I think is reference question vocabulary question is easy. It's easier than than insert text. Usually, yes. And there are two reasons why it's easier. Because in the other ones, you don't need to understand or grasp the entire text. In the yeah. other, you only need to identify. Identify vocabulary, identify synonyms, identify antonym, but only is identify and put and play. But mm -hmm. with insert text, you have to be clear. You understand the sentence. You yeah. understand the text and you have a good concept or grasp of writing. If you are not good with writing, it's difficult because in you, you only write to write. Mm -hmm. But in the insert, you have to know the appropriate place based on grammar structures and lines of where to put it in. So that's where you need to spend more time to be clear. Yeah. All right. So today we're gonna, if we don't have any questions, we're going to practice a little bit. Before we go on, do you have any questions or concerns about any of the four concepts? <coughs> no. No. Okay. Let's take a look then. Let's go on to our next section. Okay, here we have several different, we have vocabulary questions, we have reference questions, sentence simplification, and insert. The same four concept that we learned today is the four concepts that we're going to practice. Mm -hmm. In this moment, we're going to practice the first concept, vocabulary, okay? So with our partners, we're going to make our groups, we're going to use our techniques, we're going to use what we learned and we're going to complete the section one, which is the vocabulary. There are six vocabulary words you need to identify with your partners. It's okay what we're going to do? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. So we have six minutes for the six vocabularies with our partners. Okay. Jairin, are you having some problems?
Jarvin, are you having problems? Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay, Jarvin. Probably, yeah, probably the dinner would have put the knife down and shifted the spoon to the right. Uh, this action would be the spoon in the correct position for scooping, scooping out the video of the food, scooping up. If you want, you can share the screen. Messing up, picking up. Okay. I think it's picking up now. Yes. Let's see if I can share the screen. Oh, I... Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. Miss the can correct position see? for us. Can you see? The bit of food. Letter D. Letter D. Uh -huh. I don't know. I think it's, uh, let me see. It's like apparatus or, or utensils. It's like this. But it's maybe it's like a, a group. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. And then? Okay, we can continue with the second uh, word, right? Which I is totally the, the first one's totally. I don't know how this pronounce that that word. Um, but yes, it's, it's it's like that is that the meaning of of this word. For me, it's a new word. Read it in Spanish. Usa la técnica de latín. Léelo en español. What does it say? Agradable. Okay. And letter A? Uh, cultivable. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Cultivado. There you go. That's the idea. You need to go. You need to learn how to use the concept of no va a tener, no vas a poder desear las cosas. No vas a tener eso. Tienes que usar lo que sabes. So just go okay. with the idea for Latin meanings. The, the Mean. green, mm -hmm. correct? Correct? Or Latin? But exactly. Those are the... the those are the normal words from Latin or from Greek. So you just okay. try it in Spanish. It's similar. Yes. Conver conversum? Mm -hmm. Conversum. Mm, I don't know. Um, is the conversum in Spanish? In Spanish is in common. No. Incomodo. Okay. What were the options, please? Cultivator, agreeable, 
conversion. Okay. Maybe cultivator, I think. I remember that I read a, a word that is a cultivator and that paragraph near uh, to adept. Adept. Um... Oh, it, it has to be proficient. I don't know. But I'm really. I think listening. it could be proficient, uh, a little D. Mm -hmm. Maybe because, let me see. Yeah, it's complicated. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Una cinco palabras voy a contestar en el examen. Me too. <laughs> y el teacher laughing about... Ah, uh -huh, teacher. <laughs> Jarvin. Jarvin, Jarvin. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jarvin. Sorry, but sorry, but I am driving right now. Ah, okay. No problem. Let me. I'll explain to everybody. Relax, Jarvin. Continue. Continue. Perfect. All right. Let me wait. Everybody's back. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So before we continue, let me just explain one thing so that it's for everybody. Okay, guys. Relax. Let me explain to make sure it's clear. Guys, whenever you have a problem at work, in the office, or you are driving a car and you want to connect, perfect. Please connect. But please remember to put at the beginning of your name, oyente. If you put oyente, then we know. Then everybody in the group knows you have a problem. But if you don't put oyente, we are saying, uh, we are saying, uh, Irene, Irene, Irene. And, and we don't know what happened, right? Yeah. This is, yeah. It's okay. For me, it's not a problem. I'm happy that you connect even only to listen. But Thank for you. when I make groups, when we have activities, sometimes the partner, hey, teacher, yo le estoy hablando y nunca me contesta. <laughs> only put oyente at the beginning and no problem. Okay. You have problems, okay because I know some people don't know how to change the name. Put in the chat, teacher, voy a estar de oyente. And then I know and I change your name. The two function, that way we can fix it. All right, so don't worry, but it's good. I'm happy that you connect, but we are going to try to work today. Now. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. All right, now I we're going to stop there for two reasons. There are two things that are very important. Remember what we discussed yesterday. You must make a decision. You must. Confident or not confident, you have to make a decision. It's an exam with time. With time. If you lose time with the vocabulary, you don't have time for the others. Here, I gave you six minutes, but you didn't finish. I gave you three more minutes and still algunos iban por el número dos <gasps> no, no. it's not possible on the exam Wait, teacher. no estoy diciendo nombres no, it's okay it's okay you look at me <laughs> but we are honest teacher okay. I okay. just follow yes. your instructions because if we don't know I continue and I decide to put something I don't know if it is wrong Oh, it is right, but I continued and I finished. You right? exactly. You have to, not because you want to. Yeah. You don't want to. I I don't want to have mistakes, but because yeah. I don't have time. Uh, I don't yeah, have time course. to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So remember, mm -hmm. we have a couple of techniques with the vocabulary section. One of the techniques is okay, utensils. Oi. I don't know. I never listened to this word. Ni sé cómo pronunciarlo en inglés. Okay. But, but I am good with Spanish. My Spanish is good. Mm -hmm. And so my Spanish utensil me parece utensiles. Yeah. Oh. So, uy, here utensiles. Well, hammer, yo sé que hammer no es, porque me acuerdo que hammer era martillo. Uh -huh. Weapon, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Puede ser uno de estos dos. Mm -hmm. and even if you don't know 
you can remember the technique of elimination, elimination, elimination. Now, here, maybe the word you don't know, the word gadgets. Ah, I remember gadgets. Ah, do you know why I remember gadgets? Me acuerdo gadgets de una caricatura que veía cuando era joven, Inspector Gadget. Go, gadget, go. Entonces, gadget no debe de ser eso. Ah, and no. This is the idea. This, a cell phone. Yes. I cell remember phone. Exactly. that teacher. Exactly. This is the idea for the technique. The technique mm -hmm. you are going to take from your life, from your mm -hmm. experience to discover. This is the important. So what is the correct? Well, after the process of elimination and not, then we're going to go with cutlery. Okay. Mm. Cutlery. Yeah. Adapt. Ui. Adapt. Okay. In this position, the dinner would be more adept at securing a piece of meat. We, I don't know adept. We have here adept. What do you think is adept? What is like in Spanish? Expert. Maybe like expert. Like uh, adepto. Okay. ¿En qué es adepto? ¿Es cultivado? ¿Agradable? ¿Cumbersome? No sé qué sería en español. ¿O proficiente? Oh, what could be the best word? We thought that proficient. Correct. Correct. Hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> well, we did too. <laughs> Excellent. Now we're going to use the technique que ni voy a leer. Ni voy a mm -hmm. leer. Now, why? If I read morso, morso, nunca lo he escuchado. Mm, mm. No me parece nada español. I have no idea. Ah, uh, here in this one, then is correct. Ahí sí puedo venir a leer. Then it's good to read the sentence to try to get information from the reading, right? There it's correct. But for example, utensils and adept, no tenía que leer para entender. Mm -hmm. Me podía venir directo, directly to the word utensil from here immediately. Adept here immediately. The next, uy, this, para nada. So then here I go and I look for the word. And I check, remember the rule? Go before and read. So then once the meat was cut, the downturn spoon would not be suitable for picking up the morsel. Oh, okay. Aquí estoy viendo. Once the meat was cut. Okay, cut. O sea, carne cortada. And then the spoon. Spoon. Cuchara. Mm, no puede ser. Ah, picking up the morsel. Okay. So, the meat is cut. ¿Qué puede ser? The meat is cut. ¿Cómo A piece. piece. The piece. Exactly. Exactly. And if I don't know, but I use my technique of interpretation and elimination. Now here, scooping up. Scooping up. Mm. Scooping up. ¿Qué puede ser scooping up? Oh, bueno, me acuerdo cuando fui con Walter at Pops y nos mm -hmm. preguntaron cuántos scoops queríamos. ¿Qué puede hacer los scoops? Mm. Packing. Okay, it could be packing. It could be packing. Esta la voy a, Picking. la técnica de que no estoy seguro, mm -hmm. la voy a contestar y voy al siguiente porque igual estoy adivinando. If I have time, then I go back and I read. Now I finish and I read. This action would bring the spoon into the correct position for scooping up the bite of food. Um, no me suena como packing, porque dicen, oh, the correct position for the food. Mm, maybe something up. Picking something up. For picking up. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe better is picking up, no mm -hmm. packing up. Okay, good. Things, things. Uy, me suena tintes, pero no tiene otra T. No, I don't know things. Mm. So. Let me go to things and I go here. The fork kept the food against the plate more adequately and it's curving things 
serve the same function as the bowl of the spoon. Ah, no sé qué es, pero sé que estamos hablando de fork. Ah, Irena, what is fork? It's like, uh, it's an utensil. It's, it's a utensil. It's... Okay. Yes. Perfect. It's a utensil. So, what is a utensil? Mm. Bowl? Estoy seguro que no. It's no utensil. Mm -hmm. Handles? Maybe. Maybe. Blade? Mm. What are oh. blades? It's like a navaja. Like navaja. Uh -huh. mm, okay. And prongs? Mm, I don't and... know what is. I don't know what are prongs. Prongs. Okay. Y aquí Maybe es hands. Aquí es la técnica. Yo sé que son bowls. Yo sé que son blades. Y yo sé que son handles. handles. Y yo sé que los que sí sé no son. <laughs> y como yo sé que estas que sí conozco, no son la única opción Prongs. que le queda es Prongs. Prongs. Handles. The Prongs. No sé qué son Prongs, pero eso sé que no sé. That, so there's Prongs. Uh -huh. Ah, Persist. Ah, Persist is, is like in Spanish, porque eso sí es similar mm -hmm. a la team. What Continuous. is Persist? Continuous. 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 Y no tuve que leer. Y ni tuve que leer. So remember, each one, we have different technique. The first technique, save time. Save time. First, go this. Uh, what is the meaning? This, what is the meaning? Okay. I don't know. I make a selection. I click, boom. And then when I finish, I go back. Okay. Or I make a selection and I check. Mm, let me check. Quickly, I'm going to read. Si en una lectura lo puedo entender, okay. If not, I leave my answer and then I go at the end if I have extra time. But remember, the most important, the most important is you are fighting for points. Mm -hmm. You are not fighting for correct answer. You are fighting for points. So if I take 20 minutes for the six questions, I only have six points, hmm. only six points. But if I if I check, 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 I want the points. I need the points, right? I take the exam. I try to learn from it. But the objective is not learn from the exam. The objective is pass the exam. It's different than the course. Okay, now we check the answers only for you to see. And that way you have the correct idea. Here in your, in your platform, remember to put the correct answers. Let's take a look. Number one, cutlery. Number two, proficient. Proficient. Number three, peace. Peace. Number four, picking up. Number five, Hey, cabala que no sabía. Prongs. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and number six, continuous. That's it. That's it. Now, remember, the vocabulary is the place where you save the most time. The vocabulary questions is you can use little time to answer. Two, 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 two. And the others, little by little, you need more time, more time, and more time. Why? You have to analyze. You have to read. You have to check, insert. You have to compare. You, we have the different types of questions. So in the next one is reference questions. Do you remember reference questions? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Remember, reference question is this word means what? This word means what? Okay, so let me show you. Here we have reference questions. You are going to read and look the highlight, like Walter asked yesterday. In the real exam, no tener que estar buscando todo. It's going to be highlighted. Mm -hmm. It's already going, it's going to be like this. 
-hmm. You don't have to read all of it. You only have to have there. Here we have three questions with your partner. You read and you select. Now, the same, only three questions, but the same time, six minutes. Why? Because now you need more time to analyze the mm -hmm. little by little by little. Less questions, but the same level of analysis for more time. Are we ready? Yes, yes sir. Okay. So one more time, six minutes with your partner, the three questions. Let's, let me check one more. Okay. <clears throat> Daniel, are you okay? Daniel? Let me try again. Okay. Hi, in today's class, we will discuss a reference question. In a reference question, you are asked what the highlighted word refers to. If it's a pronoun, then you need to identify what word the pronoun is replacing. Here are highlighted words you may be asked about. Number one, subject pronoun it, they. Number two, object pronoun, it, them. Number three, demonstrative pronoun, these, those, this, that. Number four, possessive adjectives, it's, their. Number five, other reference words, the former, the later, one, ones, another, other, others. It is important to remember that you don't need a full understanding of the complete passage in order to solve this question type. You just need to study the context surrounding the word. Usually, you just read the sentence where the highlighted word is mentioned, and then read a few sentences that come before it. Let's see an example of a reference question. One more time, let's listen and check. Hi, in today's class, we will discuss a reference question. In a reference question, you are asked what the highlighted word refers to. If it's a pronoun, then you need to identify what word the pronoun is replacing. Here are highlighted words you may be asked about. Number one, subject pronoun, it, they. Number two, object pronoun, it, 
them. Number three, demonstrative pronoun. These, those, this, that. Number four, possessive adjectives. It's there. Number five, other reference words. The former, the later, one, once, another, other, others. It is important to remember that you don't need a full understanding of the complete passage in order to solve this question type. You just need to study the context surrounding the word. Usually, you just read the sentence where the highlighted word is mentioned, and then read a few sentences that come before it. Let's see an example of a reference question. Okay, I hope that helps for those that are watching the video. Then we come here and do the reference. Remember, follow the instructions and then you can do it. Okay, let's try it together. It, the first one, Jenny is going to read the paragraph and make the decision for her group. So Jenny? Um, yes. Okay, can you please read? Okay. One of the most potentially explosive international problem is that of mass story. Of the more than 6 billion people in the world, an increasing number of them are determined to travel. Annually, a vast number of travel-hungry tourists trip around the globe in thousands of perfect beaches. Quaint, quaint villa, villas, historic cities, and regions of exquisite natural beauty have become victims of developers. Building gems. Attempts to accommodate these people have led to the destruction of the very attraction that they have come to enjoy and have made daily living almost impossible for the local residents. Okay. Now, these people... These people are talking to about the tourist. About the tourist. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the next one. Who would like to read the next paragraph? Me, teacher. Okay. Okay. Traditionally, America's fast food companies have hired teenagers. While teenagers provide cheap labor, they are something unreal, unreal. Consequently, fast food companies often use another source of cheap labor, the elderly. Older people are less likely to skip a day of work or quit without giving notice. But because they have not been brought up with computers, they, they view the high-tech fast food counter with error, with terror. Training centers have opening in order to teach mature workers how to operate com computing computer computerized cash registers, time deep fat fryers, and automatic drink dispenser software. These students are put into classroom with their peers, and since mental arithmetic is a thing of the past, are taught how to use a calculator. Okay. Now, these students, ooh, what are we talking about? What is these students? The elderly. The elderly, okay, great. 
Okay. Now we have the final paragraph. Who is going to read the final paragraph? Nobody. Okay. Okay, Walter, thank you. Uh, the Bedman Archive is the picture library that was founded in 1930s by German Im immigrant Otto Bettmann. He arrived to New York City with two sweet guys of photograph and opened a picture library, which he built into the biggest commercial operation and its kind kind of world. Among the million photographs, the archive contains are some of the most memorable images of the 20th centuries. Marilyn Monroe, standing by a street grate, uh, uh, ventilating her skirt, adding, sticking out his tongue, and uh, under Hyder boom exploding into flames. According to a Batman, the archive's success was due to his unique feeling system, which he decided to suit journalists' needs. For example, the Mona Lisa was not filed under painting or Leonardo da Vinci. It was filed under smiling. Okay, very good. And so what are some, some of the most memorable? What are we referring to with some? Archive, archive photographs. Letter D. Okay, letter D, archive photographs. So let's take a look. We check all our answers. There you go. Exactly, the elderly archive photographs and tourists. And that's much easier when we're doing reference questions. Why is reference questions easier than vocabulary? Usually reference questions are easier because if you don't know, you have the information in the reading. But vocabulary, you must have an extension or at least a concept of the words in Latin or the base form to have an idea. Because if you don't know or you don't have vocabulary, it's very difficult to grasp or understand the meaning from the context because it's not designed for that. It's only designed for having vocabulary, okay? But in this one, the reference is easier in the aspect that, Oi, I don't know, but I can read. And in the reading is the information. Okay. Do we have any questions at this moment? No. no, no. Okay, excellent. Okay, it's clear. It's clear, all right, excellent. In this moment, I'm going to give you two links and we are going to practice exactly the vocabulary because the vocabulary I saw today was the section that we had more difficulty with. So in the vocabulary, please open the links. You should have two links in the here in the chat. Make sure that you receive the two links and you open both links before we begin. The reason you have to open the links is because when we make the groups, the links disappear. Okay, does everybody have the links? Not yet. Yes, sir. Not yet? Yes, okay. yes teacher. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 teacher. Okay, perfect. So you have 12 minutes, 12 minutes, well, 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes to complete both links. Oh my God. It's... That's like the exam, more pressure, more pressure, more pressure. You have to go faster and faster, faster and faster. Okay.
I need more time. <laughs> of course, of course. And that's the idea. The idea is little by little where you practice not needing more time, where you mm -hmm. practice making a decision, good yeah. or bad, but you make the best decision in that moment. And mm -hmm. that's the idea for the vocabulary section. The most important, remember, in vocabulary, you don't have to understand the reading. You only have to have vocabulary, yeah. right? That is the benefit. But in reference question, yes, you have to have time to read because you must understand what they are talking about. Yeah. Okay. Well, I want to thank you so much for connecting tonight. It's our second night of reading. Tomorrow, we still have two more types of questions to practice. Okay. We still have two more. And then, of course, Thursday, we review everything from the week. Okay. Tomorrow, two more okay. times. And then Thursday, we practice Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday's class. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Night. Thank you. Good night, Bye. everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.